Don't tell me this is all for nothing I can only tell you one thing On the nights you feel outnumbered Maybe I'll be out there somewhere Good day everyone! It's Nicole Ander Borayo from BSTE 1F. So, for our topic for today, we are going to talk about global migration. So first, let's define what is migration. This is the movement of a person or people from one country, city, locality, place of residence, etc. to settle in another. As per the definition earlier, there are two types of migration, the internal migration and the international migration. When we say internal migration, this refers to a change of residence within national boundaries such as states, cities, provinces, or municipalities. An internal migrant is someone who moves to a different administrative territory. And when we say international migration, this refers to the movement of persons away from their place of usual residence and across international boundaries. An international migrant is someone who moves to a different country. And the people migrating internationally are categorized by UNESCO into six. First is the temporary labor migrant. These are the people that migrate for a limited period of time to find employment and send funds to their families. They are also known as guest workers or overseas contract workers. Next is the highly skilled and business migrants. These people are a step higher than compared to the first type of migrant. They have professional qualifications who move within the international labor markets of transnational corporations and international organizations. Then, we have the irregular migration. These are illegal migrants that came to foreign countries to look for employment without proper documents. For the next one, forced migration. From the word itself, forced are forced to migrate due to several factors such as environmental catastrophe, wars, and the like. Next is the family member. These are the family members joining the relatives that is already within the foreign country under one of the types of migrants mentioned earlier. And last is the return migrant. After working or living in a foreign country for some time, time to go home. These are the return migrants. And those are the information about migration. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed my info blog. Once again, this is Nicole Andre Burayo from BSE 1F. Bye-bye.